All right, now that we're getting ready to go into sequencing, um, I could build more models, I could make this more realistic, but for the sake of this tutorial, that's not really necessary. However, one thing that you do wanna know about is uh, if you right click over here in the model section, you can add a group. And uh, I'm just gonna call this roof outline. And you wanna to group together anything that you're gonna to use together or run animations on together throughout your display. My recommendation um, for a lot of people, you want to make a good number of groups. You want to make maybe more groups than you think you need. Um, some people might go overboard, you know, don't be that person, but use, making groups is never a bad thing and it's not going to uh, take away from your show. So I'm going to go ahead, for example, and just grab these two, drag them over. I used shift to get them, um, you know, on a Mac. That would be shift as well or control or command. And uh, now those two are in the group. We can see that there. And I'm also going to go ahead and make an all group just grab everybody pop them over done awesome now I'm ready to go ahead and sequence so over in the sequencer tab I can go ahead press new sequence and there's a nice little wizard that walks you through things if you're gonna use music choose musical sequence if not choose animation the only main difference between these two workflows is that musical sequence brings in the music so you this pops up once you hit musical it says choose audio file at the top i'll go here i'll choose this carol of the bells by small town poets ah yes i used that in my show last year and then you can choose whether to go 20 frames per second or 40. Um, truth be told, I don't see any need to go above 20 frames per second, and that's exactly what it tells you here at the bottom. Then you can select a view. You can make custom views, but we're just going to use all models and press quick start. Awesome. Now, if you're doing a real display for a real show, chances are there's a lot more in here, a lot more models. And in fact, even later in this tutorial, I mean, this playlist, I've got a guide to sequencing in x -Lights called How to Sequence a Song in x -Lights Part 1 and 2, which goes much deeper into this. But for the bare, the brass tacks, you know, the bare bones technical, we've got a couple things here that you can see. One, we've got our music at the top. If we click anywhere, you might be able to hear that. Clicking on this top automatically starts that playback. You can listen to the music at any point. And then we've basically got a timeline down here with our different groups and individual props down the side here and then um, going horizontal um, rather that's vertical and then going horizontal we've got time and we've got our music track in accordance with that for those who have music then we've got effects here at the top so they start from simple off and on color bars and they generally get more complex as you head more to the right. Not necessarily, but, eh, you know, in general. Um, the, I think they're alphabetical after a certain point. But regardless, uh, after these f basic ones, regardless, um, there's a lot in here. There's a lot of people who show tutorials on how to do different things. Um, I just generally play around, and I have a few effects that I find to be my favorite. But sometimes something surprises me. Um, but the gist of making it work is you simply go ahead drag in an effect anywhere on your display okay then if we press on it we should see it start going in our preview this one's not one of my favorites I'm actually gonna choose the bars and just drag it in over top that replaces it because I know the bars better and now this shows me boom on my roof outline group that I brought this in this effect is now happening this first window model preview shows you only the model that you've selected this shows you house preview at the current time the whole display so for example if i chose butterfly and i put it on my all group at the same time and then i click on the model preview i see in the model preview only the the roof line but on the house preview i see everything that's happening at that time in the music uh displaying that the time of the music being this whole um, start to finish of the effect that's actually selected Okay, and so sequencing is really as simple as bringing in different effects. Sorry about that. Bringing the time in and then playing back the music and making things match. Now, a couple tips to help you out. Of course, we can go really deep on this, but the point of this tutorial is to be a quick start. Um, but you're able to go ahead for any effect you've got selected. 
and modify the different parameters of it here. Now, all effects are gonna have all sorts of different things here. They're gonna be labeled all sorts of different ways. And for a lot of them, the best way to find out how to make things look cool is to just play with it. Now, when we talk about colors, a lot of these go have rainbow options. They may have other options and they also have palette options. When we go with palette, whatever colors are checked here at the top are going to be the colors that are used. You see, I went from red, white just a minute ago to green, blue when I switched to those. Okay, super helpful in choosing a color scheme for your song and the effect is going to obey those colors that you've checked. You see, I just added in yellow. Now I've got yellow in there as well. All right, um, other things that I really like are if we actually give ourselves a little bit more room here at the top. On any effect, we have an in time and an out transition that we can fade as well as do other transitions across our house. And so when we have a time in there, like one second, for example here, we now see that fade in and fade out noted. And when we click on it to play it back, we saw that fade in over here in the model preview. It will also fade out. Um, other things that I really like are you can bring in sparkles to anything with color. And doing sparkles reflect music works really well because now it's something that's happening to the music. It's sound activated. You see those little flashes going on in this. And it's just a cool way, um, a really easy way to make something a little more musical. So with that, guys, that's really the basics. Um, once you go ahead and fill out all your time, you can play that back and you can save it. And then um, if need be, there's ways to export it, etc. But you always want to save it. Like I just hit control S to save there or press the big old save button. And you want to do that to uh, make sure that everything you've done is saved, of course. Then once you've done that, this is the order I like to do things in. Um, if I'm just working virtually, I next go ahead and set up my network. So join us in the next video where we're going to do that here in X-Lights.